Всем привет! Вы на канале Матком ТВ. И сегодня у нас четвертая серия Batman The Telltale Series, где я сам уже не знаю, где мы и как будем укручиваться из сложившейся ситуации. Сейчас узнаем. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selina, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... <sighs> You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely.
Ну вот что угодили-то в неприятности. По первое число. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing, Wayne. Надеялся на эту встречу. Buddy, oh, buddy, are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. Does it look like I'm okay? <laughs> Not one bit. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The, the new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. It seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Safe. And how do you plan to do that? You're hardly the first patient in Arkham Asylum to be attacked. I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your... blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. 
I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes. <laughs> no, no, this is all of... You need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Just make another Take one. good care of him. Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Is the remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles... Cookie... Cookie crumbs! That's it! <laughs> yes! I cracked it! <laughs> Shh. I solved the cookie riddle, not you! Sorry. Sorry, it's, it, it's just, it, it's just, it's his voice. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe. 
and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Но кто не в курсе, да, вдруг Джон Доу это условное имя, когда не знают имя пациента, человек всегда записывает его как Джон Доу. Типа наш Иван Иванович Иванов. Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham. Before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicky Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I'm not doing anything for you. You got that? That's unfortunate. It really is. I was looking forward to it for a moment there. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce, and I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. I was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course, it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but... 
You're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Let's be clear about one thing. You are never, ever getting out of this place. Whatever you say, Bruce. But never is a very, very long time. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. Даже в таком относительно слабом джокере он мне нравится. Самый яркий персонаж. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! Skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> I'm okay. Someone's <laughs> pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. John, he's the one that started the whole thing. John has been a model patient for months, Mr. Wayne. You, on the other hand, have been involved in two violent instances, and you're not even through your first day. You'll have to forgive me if I find your accusation hard to believe. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Железобетонный аргумент. Если в больнице или в тюрьме слишком много проблем от пациента, его надо выписать. А то вдруг он опасный. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. Uh, What's that about? <laughs> well, I just can't 
can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Harvey, how about we just agree to go our separate ways, all right? You think you can just walk away from me? Just like that, after everything you've done? Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selina. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selina. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. What is your problem? Because you are making a big mistake right now. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back off! Back off, people! Ram the barricade! This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred! Hey! 
Тоже у меня проблема. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Please don't look at me like Sam, that. My mind's made up. Don't you get it, Bruce? Да. Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? I, uh... I understand. I don't like it. But I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with all of this. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Но я прям не верю, что он не может просто чистить свою кровь, прогнать ее и все. Я не могу просто игнорировать это. Ты не можешь работать в таком состоянии. Ты обязательно должен получить отдыхание. Ты помогал мне. Мне кажется, что весь этот кайф был падает на меня. Конечно, я помогу. Давайте начнем с решения проблемы в руках. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Stop. Какие там ДНК сравнивают? ДНК наркотика? Эм, чего? Какой наркотика ДНК? В своем уме. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to... sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. But we don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Да, это сложно. Быть гениальным. И самое главное, нафига его там генерировать, когда он сразу может получиться. 
Вот жизнь бы так. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. I feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham Кто такая Lady Arkham? Lady Arkham? Черт побери. Я, конечно, не специалист, но впервые слышу о таком человеке. Obviously the police have yet to find a body. Что это за персонаж из комиксов? That woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. <sighs> I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. I'm inside the Vale House. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. 
Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Догадайтесь, кто там живет. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Не знаю, как это может быть связано с ремнем, но попробуем. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vell fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. Anything? No. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive.
It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hey, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. Why are you hiding? I heard screams. Lots of screams. So... so I hid. I didn't see what happened. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs? Fighting the police? I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman! Oh my God. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. 
I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Um, I thought it was fun. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. That sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord. That would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. <laughs> You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Hmm. No, все-таки пойдем в пиджаке. This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey, we need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. I have always supported you. You were my friend. Tell me, Bruce, 
Were you thinking about our friendship when you were screwing Selena? Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. The value of your estate. It could be used to do a lot of good. Believe me, Harvey, I've been paying for them my whole life. I have nothing left to give. I'll be the judge of that. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. They see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. That I would weed out the crime and corruption. I'm not the enemy. The children of Arkham are. Oh, don't you worry. I'm taking care of them tonight, too. What do you mean? Ready to go. Do it. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Hey, man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Oh, Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? You can't believe it. You actually have lost your mind. You're a lunatic! I have a strong feeling that history will say otherwise. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. That I am the guardian of Gotham. I don't care how many resources, how much I have to spend, I will use my last penny if that's what it takes to stop you. No bother. It's not your concern anymore. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham Terror Plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Tragic, but unsurprising. Maybe even dear old Alfred will shed a tear. <laughs> Hope that was satisfying. That's the last one you get. Come on, keep walking. Wait. Shut up. Just wait. Just keep moving. Look at what you're doing. This is wrong, and you know it. Hey, he said, shut up. This, this is murder. Is that what you want? This city is at war. Sometimes casualties are the cost of winning the war. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. You gotta see it. What the penguin did to him, he changed him. He's, he just had to get more firm in the face of the children of Arkham. He still got the city's best interest at heart. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... But if you think that's where he's going to stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I... Uh, maybe... Uh, maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it. You don't understand. That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh... Nothing. Go on then. Pull the trigger.
do it. You're right. Oh god, I was about to... I'm sorry. I knew you didn't have the stones for this. Officer! Drop your weapon! You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Denton just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Denton's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. The amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arkham might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Dent needs to be stopped, Jim. Now. Or that block won't be the last thing that gets destroyed. Uh, we'll stop him. But it ain't gonna be easy. It's a mess out there. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head, as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. <sighs> I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Sounds to me like you're already on the right path. Weeding the bad seeds out of the department. Cutting down the enforcers. Yeah, I just hope it'll be enough. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. Here's the device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Так. Привет. Lucius, are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where Oswald's guards are and which routes are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Никогда не понимал концепции Бэтмена, который не убивает. Avoid that hallway. Я понимаю, конечно, что если перебить всех злодеев, то потом придется создавать новых персонажей для комиксов. Но концепция так себе. Добрый день. Nice work. I assume Oswald is in my office. Naturally. 
Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless you! You're all bloody useless! Hey, it's the bat! You're a dead man! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again! Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah? I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. That's not happening. You're outmatched here. Give up. Oh, is that what you think? What, because of all those fancy gadgets? You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. But Lady Arkham. Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Not just for fashion. It's very functional. <laughs> you're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You can't stop us! Watch me. Come on, Batman! Show me what you got. My turn. Что там хулиган уходит у него с МП5, и теперь вот с кулашами. Странно все это. Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. Few more minutes, all your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it! You down. I'm the one with the toys now, Batman. <laughs> this is the start of a new legacy, and I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. <laughs> Жаль. 
This isn't the end, Batman! You can't stop us! It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady uh, Arkham. Oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she uh, planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. The city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off. Oh, I'm not telling you anything. Tell me. I won't tell you. Do your worst. Hey, Evans, Louis. What the? Just cut me down, mate. Sir, was this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell him Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> Какие у вас интересные граждане? А я вот милосердно оказывается. Ну что ж, четвертая серия подошла к концу. Остался финал. Я думаю, нам не надо ждать слишком долго. Посмотрим, что там. Ну а пока мы любим вас. Пока-пока.